Right, well, let's 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 move on to um, something else. Been in the headlines lately. Somebody speaking his mind. Uh, you once famously got in a tussle with Joe Marler. Yes. Uh, when he sprayed water in your face, I think it was yeah. inside. Uh, what, what have you made of sort of his the comment, the subsequent ban uh, oh. against Bristol a couple of weeks oh, ago? I, do you know what? I again, uh, I, I said this kind of before on on, on, on our pod. I, I watched. It's a piece of rugby. Stop I, saying our pod. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> 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 Good bad rugby. Electric chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Every time he says it, you should get absolutely buzzed. Yeah, electric chairs before to get hard on. No, I'm joking. Um, but am I? I... Uh, no, I, I saw parts of it and I and initially and I thought, look, it, it's an error, a, error of judgment. I don't... You know, I, I know Joe very well. Um, I think he... Um, does what we all do, and is very emotional and, and is reactive at times. Um, was it nice? No. Was it wrong? No. Did, you know. And I think my wife, interestingly enough, has said exactly what his wife has said to me on, or said to him on a number of occasions. So I'll come back and I said I posted this. And she goes, "You're a you're fucking idiot. idiot. How can I? How can I ever defend you?" She goes, "If people come at you, I'm going to throw you under the bus because it's the wrong thing to do." And the very fact, in his own words, he shared that. That's that's for me is what it is. You know. And I, one of the things. I talk a lot about the book. It is in a world now what where every, well, this special book is called a James Haskell approach without caution: five pillars to change your life. Nice, it? it is nice actually. It's like they've almost filled a bit of it in. I think I've, I've I think it's blown off more. You know, but I'm guess what 2023. I'm getting a new lid. I'm gonna come back Fuck, looking at like you. Show, show me oh. that. You look like um that. No, you don't. No. I thought you. I was gonna say you almost. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Thor. James Smith almost. <gasps> James Smith. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, James. James, Smith. James Smith's got even less lid than mine. You fucks. Um, <laughs> That's where you're, that's I knew what that was, what he's looking for. Do you mind not putting words into his mouth? Sorry, sorry. He doesn't Apologies. need anyone else Apologies, hyping up. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that I talk about in there is kind of worrying about your side of the street. And and a lot of people now, especially on social media, get, get really caught up with pseudo crusades and hammering everyone else. Like, who the fuck am I to judge Joe Marler? And why would I ever? It's not, it's, not, it's not for me to ever comment. I go, you know, you've asked me about it and I go, I don't really have an opinion on it other than what, what he said is what he said. And what his missus said for me is a perfect example of it. Do I have I equally fucked up more than that? Yeah, hundred percent. So I don't really bother with judgment because you know when my side of the street's perfect and I'm not fucking up on a, on a catastrophic mm. basis daily, I'll, I'll then start throwing what stones. What do you reckon, Max? Because he was yeah, there. You were, yeah, from, he was, yeah, front, yeah, he was yeah. right he there. Was okay, right so what? There well, this is this place. is this is actually what happened. All right. So we're in a breakdown. Me, Jake oh. Keenan, and Joe. Joe and Joe's like giving Jake a shoe. Nothing too egregious. It was pretty normal stuff. Anyway, we get to the we get to the setup at the scrum, and um, Jay Keenan's like, "Mate, you're better than it, brother. Brother, you're better than that." He's a Kiwi, right? And um, yeah. and then Joe Somalia, is he? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's joking about easy. And easy. then um, Joe's like, "You're not my brother. You are not my brother." And then I could see him looking for something to say because usually he says something pretty funny. Yeah. He does have some good yeah, quips. Yeah. Like he gave um, he gave Magnus the old um. What are you celebrating about, you satellites? See you next Tuesday because of his ears. <laughs> and that, that, that made me chuckle so much. It's always bad. Oh, it's always yeah, bad. Yeah, when you go for your own team, man. You got bad, man. He's done anyway. Maggie would have been like, oh, for fuck's sake. It was like fair play. Yeah, he laughed as well. Oh, bro, it was funny. And then, but he got to that and he was like searching for something. And then that came out and everyone was like, oh, because it was just like so like piercing through it. It's like, yeah. your mother's a whore. Yeah. In fact, and you boys obviously knew what was going on with his mum. Whereas Joe Marler, yeah. he had no, his, but he, he had wouldn't know that. Yeah. Exactly. And he, he came out and apologised afterwards. I thought that would be the end of it. But then you could see <laughs> Dixon goes to, goes like, what's he say? Because obviously there was a bit of a bit of, um, Bit of argy bargy afterwards. Who told it? Who told on him? Yeah, snitches get fucking snitches. Who's the grass? Is it you? The grass? Who's the, who's the grass? The only <laughs> person who was there. Did you do that, boy? Straight, straight, straight to the red. I bet he went like this. I bet he went like this. I bet he's like, he went like this. Our eyes are revolving like this. It goes, yeah. He was sir, goes, what do you say? In the crucible of fire. <laughs> <laughs> one of the, the, the fallen men said, your mother's a whore. Not only has he let himself down, he's let society down, sir. Throw the book at him, sir. You Basically, fucking snitch. <laughs> you damn grass. You, you grass. You're he a asked rat. me. He asked me. Well, attempt to fuck off my own business. Have. I should have, yeah. No, what I'm actually ashamed of myself. Out of it. Oh, my dad wasn't happy about it. Yeah, you yeah. snitch. Your dad's like forsaken you. But I was also looking after my man. Yeah, I know. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh I brought I brought great to him. Shamed of the Lahif name. The dynasty. The Lahif dynasty has been absolutely affected. So I told him. And then and then during the week, there was obviously like sighting. And they're asking, and then I'm getting messaged asking. And I was thinking in integrity that I hadn't grasped on him. So I was like, I'm not grasping on him. <laughs> <laughs> and I've already done it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, a like, that's a steroid. Slows one. the brain down. They can do one. And I was like, and then I was like, oh, whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> 
idiot. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. if you close your eyes, you go like this. Yeah. It didn't, oh. it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, it, didn't it's like, happen. it actually did happen. It did, it did happen. You could Crossed tell by up. Joe Muller's face, like, once he had said it, yeah. he was like, you could tell he was like, fuck. Oh. Like, it's really not set well. I know, yeah. Listen, it ain't going to set well, but... We say stupid shit. I know. Here it just the moment, happens, yeah. The thing with it is, is as soon as you get trial by social media oh, and you get the so... opinion, all context is lost. That's why everything in rugby now with all the injuries and the intent and the stuff, the two-lang, whatever stuff it is, it takes all the, te- all the intent, all the context out of it. It's just, you hear, Joe Myers said what to someone's mum? Who's here? Mm. You're like, no, this is somebody who made an honest mistake. Yeah, Was it right? No. Everything. And people yeah. go, you shouldn't say that anyway. You're like, we're fucking meathead rugby players. We're, we're, we're in controlled violence all day long. That's why people get really upset about rugby. Like, oh, he did that. You know, like if I ever, yeah. if you ever read about me in the paper, go, Jay Saskill headbutted me and called me a CUNT, <laughs> right? Everyone knows we go, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be really a shock. People go, I can't believe it. Like, no, he, he pretty much is like that. So would you, would you have given him a two week ban? Um, Do you think it warrants a ban? Because I've heard worse stuff get said, and yeah, I don't. I've never heard of someone getting banned for for saying. But something. maybe it's because of his history with. Um, I just think Samson. that I just think the fact is that unfortunately his yeah. But even then, you know, even I was there when that Samson oh, yeah. happened. I'm not defending him. I think yeah. it was stupid what he said. Yeah. No, it's I'm stupid not, what he said, I, but I, I, don't I don't agree with the ban. It, yeah, I'm not bans, sure. A ban's not. I yeah. don't have... Ju- look, again, and he I, apologize I've never... I've, I've, being completely honest with you, I haven't given it a second thought until he asked me about it because it's just like one of those things. It's not... You know, I, I, I've cast no judgment on all of them. I feel sorry mm. for the guys, but it's, I've got an ill mum. Yeah, yeah. I, feel, I feel, you know, I feel bad for Joe, but I don't... I, I don't really care that much about it, being completely honest with you. I'd say, I'd say if you start banning people for what they say to each other on the field, that is place. a very difficult precedent to... to, 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 to Back to, up all the yeah. time. Yeah. And, you know, the only time I've ever heard it was when Dylan Hartley, you know, again, not even talking to the referee, he was talking to fucking Tom Young, yeah. called him a fucking cheat. Yeah. And Wayne Barnes took it as, as him. And it's like, you know, why would you call the referee a fucking cheat? It's, it doesn't even make any sense. Um, but that got blown out of hand and he obviously got banned for that. I would say it's very difficult... But rugby values, you know, now the fact that ref, the refs are all mic'd up. But imagine football players, if you if you could hear what they said to the referee, they'd never play again based on that rule. So mm-hmm. I don't think it should have got banned. I think it's nonsense. I think the problem is as soon as you open uh, rugby up and stuff that happens on the field to a public forum of people who've never played, don't know anything about it, who are perpetually outraged anyway, you this is where you fuck it. Mm-hmm. Can we move on, boys, quickly? You on want to... fucking control you. Like, yeah, I just have to sit here. I've yeah. been so polite listening I, to like... I, I, he's sighing at the boredom of the, of the, of the show. <laughs> You're the one controlling it. Don't ask shit questions. He's like, yeah. oh, can we move on? Oh, yeah. Fucking ask something interesting then. Right, let's go. The okay, uh, you've been very outspoken, Eddie Jones. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. About your disgust at England, yes. uh, letting him go nine months ahead of a World Cup. Uh, his record, though, you know, five wins yes. in the last 12. Uh, England embarrassed in the last couple of Six Nations. Surely that was the only thing left. 